Hi guys, this is Jay Harris with Infinity Box. And in this video, I want to talk about the configuration sheet that comes with your 20 circuit kit. The configuration sheet is your roadmap to wiring your car or truck with the Infinity Box system. It's going to tell you line by line and wire by wire how you connect your switches to the master cell and how you connect your power cell to the outputs that you're turning on and off. Things like your brake lights and turn signals and ignition. Before we get too far, your configuration sheet is specific to your system. So we've created it based on the accessories you've added, any custom code that you have, so don't lose this. This is specific to your system. And the wire colors defined in your configuration sheet are what you need to follow. And you need to follow these more so than what you're going to find on our website because, again, this is specific to you. So the configuration sheet is going to tell you everything you need to know about how you connect the wires to your Infinity Box system. And when you look at it, there are several columns that go across the page that give you the information you need. These columns first start with the function. And the function is describing the output. So whether it's the ignition, or the headlights, or the high beams, or the turn signals, that's going to fall into the function column. You'll also notice under the function column there are multiple outputs labeled open. And an open output is just an auxiliary. It means that there's nothing specific assigned to it. You can use it for anything else you've added to your car or truck, like an extra fuel pump or extra lights. Those open outputs can be used to control those. The next column is the switch input. And this is by number the input to the master cell that's going to control that output. So in the case of the example I want to look at, on this configuration sheet, input number three is the ignition. Now, input number three is just a designation internally in the master cell. If you were to look inside the connector, the number of our input is not going to line up with the molded number for the cavity ID on that connector. So don't try and correlate the cavity ID to the input. The input number here is something that we use internally. The next column is the master cell connector. On the master cell, there are two connectors. The A connector is above the screen, and the B connector is below. And the overwhelming majority of all the inputs in your system are going to come off the A connector or the connector above the screen. So when I look at the ignition, that's input number three, which is assigned to connector A on the master cell. The next column is the power cell address. And so your two power cells in your 20 circuit kit, the front power cell is addressed as one, and the rear power cell is addressed as two. If you have in motion in your system, that is typically addressed as three, and any other power cells or in motion cells you may add will have their own unique address. So in the case of our ignition example, it's input three controlling power cell one, which is the front power cell in your car. The next column talks about the power cell connector. There are two connectors on the power cell, one labeled A, one labeled B. In the case of the ignition on this configuration sheet, that ignition output is on power cell B. The next column is the personality. And the personality describes how the output turns on and off based on the input. And there's a whole separate video talking about the details of personality. But in this most basic sense, most of our outputs are track, which means that the output tracks the state of the input. When the switch is on, the output is on. When the switch is off, the output is off. So in the case of your ignition, when you turn on the ignition switch, you want the ignition output on. When you turn off the ignition switch, you want the ignition off. So that personality is track. The next column is the power cell output. And this tells you by number which output of the power cell is controlling what you're turning on and off. So in this case, the ignition is output three. And if you look under the clear cover of the power cell, we mark next to each fuse the output number. So if you were to turn on the ignition from the master cell and watch your front power cell, when the ignition's on, the white light next to fuse number three will go bright. So the last two columns are the most important because these describe the power cell wire color 
and the master cell input color. So as we follow our ignition example, output number three on the rear power cell is the light green wire on the B connector. And it's controlled by the master cell input, which is the white wire with the blue tracer that's on the master cell A connector. So I hope this video gives just a quick, simple overview of how the configuration sheet works. We've used the ignition as an example in this video, and you're going to follow the exact same process for everything else. Your headlights, your high beams, your turn signals, your parking lights. Like I said before, the configuration sheet is your roadmap to wiring the car. If you have any specific questions, you can give our team a call at 847-232-1991 or get to our website at www.infinitybox.com. If you like these videos and you think they're helpful, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we post more. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.